Hi, I'm Chris Mistra and I play Glenn. If I could play any other character in Silver Point, it would be Glenn. It would be Glenn. It would definitely be Glenn. Let's do this. The way Chris portrays him, he seems to have so, so much fun with it and so much energy with it, and I just think it'd be such a fun character to just delve into. There's something you have to see, like, really seriously, like, right now. He is very enthusiastic. Some may say he's lovable, and he he brings, like, a lot of the jokes and kind of lightens the mood a lot of the time. Group Dragonfly, who's up first? Yeah. A kid I know fell from something like this and hit the ground so hard he swallowed his own lips. Will you please stop talking? He's got some cracking lines. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's hilarious. He's sort of the comedy, the comedy yeah. element. He's using comedy basically because he's either been, you know, left out of things or, he, you know, he's, he's always the one not picked or whatever. And so he's able to use comedy as a weapon in order to make himself part of the group and mm. to actually rise amongst the group. I love his character. I think he's, yeah. and I think, um, I think Chris is fantastic. Glenn. He's always wanting to prove himself and he is willing to do anything to achieve that, even if it's a bit stupid, like life-threatening. Sometimes you have to do the stupid things. This is something I've come to learn in life. He sees the, um, kind of the, the good in everyone, I think, and so the good in just every situation as well. You have got to try this! He's just always trying to lighten the mood, but then he does also have a side to him that's serious that sometimes does come out if it needs to. He's very sweet and seems to fall in love with things very easily, quite a few times. <laughs> She's like Katniss Everdeen's stunt double. I bet she arches. Comes here to have fun and make new friends, which he does, I think. And this thing that they find in the woods is like, it's really exciting for him. And he, I don't think he really takes in the risks. And you see that in the show. I don't think we're on campgrounds anymore. You two can swim? Yeah, but I was swimming at three months old, like a baby dolphin. You don't want to jump, you don't, and he's too scared, but he won't admit it. I'm going through, end of. Glenn. End of. Glenn is very similar to Krish. I mean, yeah. Krish is very similar to Glenn. <laughs> I have called him Krish in multiple scenes and not noticed. Yeah. You are your character. I feel like Krish is a lot like his character, so in a way... Krish literally we, is Glenn. Yeah, he is Glenn. <laughs> um, so I feel like we have our own wee Glenn as well. So originally my agent sent me through the, the tape for Elliot, um, who's obviously another character, and I did that and then I got a recall for him. Weird things supposedly happen in that part of the woods. What weird things? Unexplainable lights, sounds, I mean, that's the rumour anyway. Imagine if you were Elliot. <laughs> Oh, that would be very different. Weird things happen in that part of the woods. What kind of weird things? Unexplainable lights. Sounds. That's the rumour anyway. It was really weird because I went in and then I read for Glenn and Elliot on the chem reads like on the same day. And then I went home and then like a, like a week or two later I got cast as Elliot. And then like two days later they were like, oh now you're Glenn now. I was like, okay. Yeah. Imagine a different Glenn. It would have been, a, I don't think it would have worked. You are Glenn. It would have been really weird. Yeah. It would have been really weird. It would have been totally different. Yeah. I think that's a happy coincidence. Yeah. Happy to be here. Glenn's fashion sense is so much better than mine. Clearly. He, he rocks some yellow shorts, like, come on. He's got so many stunts. Yeah. They call him Tom Chris. They call me Tom Chris. Okay. Mission quite possible. It was the first, it was, it was mission quite likely. Oh yeah, yeah. This is one small step for Glenn. One giant leap for Glenn Kind. He actually did it. You messed up on purpose so that you could what do, do it again. What do you mean? I've you, never done that. Snake. We were behind on filming that day as well. No, we weren't. Yes, I just first were. up now. No, no, no. no you, were, you were behind on filming and you were like, ah, oh, this is fun. You I'm weren't even more. there. I weren't was there. there. No, 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 no. I filmed mine in like two takes. Okay, we're going to have an argument now. That wasn't funny. In any scene or situation, whether it's sad, um, scary, he always has something funny to say. Honestly, I'm sort of in shock at this whole situation. It's the energy, I think, and like... The Glenergy. The Glenergy. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs>